Hey everyone, Blizzard KB here. Well, the Rubik's Cube has been out for about 30 years now. And so the Rubik's Company decided to celebrate with a special 30th anniversary cube. They did this on the 25th anniversary with a sticker mod of their regular Rubik's Cube, which was kind of interesting. But they decided to go extra special for this 30th year anniversary and decided to do something that I don't think I ever thought they would do, which is make a cube out of wood. How how can you better celebrate having a Rubik's Cube than having a Rubik's Cube that's made out of wood? That's I hope you can hear the sarcasm in my voice here. Wow. I I I have no words. Let's take a look at the size first of all. And a decent looking wood grain in here. As you can see the 30th anniversary right there in the middle. See, 30th anniversary. Ruby's Cube, made out of wood. This is considered the white side. Over here you have the green side. They have yellow. It's hard to tell by the camera, but it is slightly different than this side. I think if I turn this side and then directly to this side, you can see a little bit of a difference. A little more of a shine. They put some sort of stickers on there. Here's the blue side. Red and orange. The red and orange seem similar on camera, but when they're in person, you can tell the difference pretty easily. Now, why am I so sarcastic about this cube? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cube, you know. They try to do something special with it. Well, the reason I'm so sarcastic is as soon as you try and turn the puzzle. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I am applying a ton of pressure on this cube right now. I can't turn the stupid thing. See this? Ugh. I'm putting some serious muscle into turning this. You may want to take up some weights and get some real strength training before you try and turn this cube. You know, I really have a bone to pick with with Rubik's about this. It's been 30 years. And there's been a ton of other cube manufacturers who have made really, really good cubes who can turn, who can who can cut corners, that can do just about anything you would want to with a 3x3. And then Rubik's comes out with this extra special, super duper 30th anniversary cube, and you can barely turn the thing. I mean, I am applying a ton of pressure just to turn it 90 degrees. It's crazy how hard this is to turn. It's ridiculous. And so the bone I have to pick is that they haven't learned anything after all of these years in how to make a cube that would actually be fun to play with. Honest to goodness, you would not have a lot of fun turning this cube. What you're going to have to do is mod this cube like crazy in order to make this thing even usable. I'm assuming the reason they made this is more as a piece that you could just show your friends and put on a shelf more than an act of solving with. That's what I have to assume because turning this puzzle, I can tell you it's a total chore. And I would recommend against buying this cube unless, unless A, you just want to leave it on a shelf and show your friends a wood cube, or B, you are going to mod this cube like crazy. It's ridiculous how hard this is to turn. It's not fun at all. I don't grade cubes normally, but this one's getting a Z minus. I'm giving it a Z minus because of a, a Peanuts cartoon, a Peanuts comic strip where a peppermint patty got a, a paperback from her teacher and she got a Z minus on it. And she turned back to the teacher and said, that's not a grade, that's sarcasm. Well, this is sarcasm. This one gets a Z minus. However, I'm not going to say, oh my gosh, that was really, that was really hard. That was really hard. You could probably do 10 reps of five on this cube as far as turning sides and, and get a really good hand workout. I, 
I'm not going to say that this cube can't be turned into a decent cube, but I will say I don't know why you'd bother. There's tons of cubes on the market that turn way better and a lot more fun to play with. So, As far as the stickers themselves, they, they, are, they are actually stickers that go on the sides of the cube. Um, the outside of these green, green stickers, for example, is actually clear, and then the, um, there's the green part in the middle. I am not 100% clear whether the, the, the green is actually colored onto the wood itself and then there is a protective layer on it or whether it's an actual sticker itself and all of the sides are actually just regular wood colored. I am not sure about that, but um, I'm not going to peel the sides to find out either. I don't think it's that important of a question to answer. Anyways, just to let you know this cube is out there and unless you're going to mod it, significantly or just leave it on a shelf, I recommend against getting this cube in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, I am Blizzard KB, and this is the 30th anniversary Rubik's Cube. Made out of wood.